Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso here on SABC3. We are celebrating Freedom Day this morning, the, the most important day in, of course, South Africa's history and talking about all of the struggle heroes that made today possible. Indeed. And, of course, today we want to talk about Steve Biko, yeah, he, a very important role player in South Africa's freedom. Yeah, you look at that picture, you've seen very many pictures of him on T-shirts before. But in 1968, uh, Steve Biko co-founded the South African Student Organization, an all-black student organization focusing on the resistance of apartheid and subsequently spearheaded the newly started black consciousness movement in South Africa mm -hmm. uh, that he became president of in 1969 of the South African Students Organization. Yeah. As it, it's then was, it was three years later in 1972 that he was expelled from the University of Natal uh, due to his political activism. In that very same year, he also yeah. co-founded uh, another black uh, activist group called the Black People's Convention and became the leader of that group. Too. Um, Steve Biko mm. was also banned by the apartheid regime and he was forbidden to write to speak publicly, uh, to talk to the media representatives, or to speak to more than one person at a time. Um, he was arrested at a roadblock in PE. He was tortured for 22 hours, and of course we know that he um, sustained major head injuries, went into a coma, and then died the very next day as well. Yeah. Another struggle hero that we're celebrating today is, of course, Donald James Woods, and he um, is a man that when Stephen Biko, uh, of course, died in custody, in police custody in 1977, he's the journalist that was at the forefront of the campaign to reveal the truth about exactly what happened. And Woods used his position as the editor of the Daily Dispatch newspaper uh, to attack the nationalist government over Biko's death and to find out exactly what happened. So he is part of the struggle here as we are celebrating today. Absolutely. And of course, you can see all races. It was a multiracial, um, you know, get together and initiative that South Africans be free and enjoy freedom. But it is time for us to be free to move and exercise and, of course, get our bodies <laughs> healthy again. Over to you, you, Ewan.